If you want to add pictures or logos or special symbols to a worksheet, arrows, lines, boxes, the Insert tab has quite a few choices in the Illustrations group. This company makes sporting goods, amongst other things, and they might want to show a picture of one of their items in the heading area. So on the Insert tab, you see a choice called Pictures. Now, shipping with this courseware in your exercise files under Chapter 4, you will see two of those kinds of images, sneakers, bamboo slicker. Let's just insert this. We can actually double click it. And there it is. We could make it larger by dragging one of the corners this way. We can move this around, do with it what we wish. We can also add logos. That's also available here and that's in the same location. So if we go back to the insert tab and back to pictures, you'll see a logo right there and double click that. And that too is placed here. And you can manipulate that in the same way as the one that's already here is too. As a general rule, you will want to make these smaller or larger and keep the same proportion of height to width. So usually you drag a corner handle, as it's called. If you drag one of the side handles, you'll make this narrower or wider. And that tends to distort a logo, which usually is frowned upon. If you try that same feature with pictures, here and there, that may or may not enhance the look that you're trying to get to. There are other features available here as well. If we go back to the Insert tab in the ribbon, you'll see a choice here called Shapes. If you click the drop arrow for Shapes, quite a few choices here. Now, many of these encompass a space, so you can also put text in these. For a variety of reasons, you might want to put in a box, possibly even a title. Here's something called a rounded rectangle. Suppose we just click this option and then click and drag somewhat like this. Maybe we want this to be the title. Maybe we're talking about our sales report here or sales profits for 2013. So we just start typing immediately, sales profits report. If we click the border of this feature, we can then go to the home tab and use a bigger font, possibly that way as we slide over the choices. And we can use centering top, bottom, left, right as we need that, use a different font, use some other features as well. Move that around as we wish. That's just one of many, many shapes. If you're using some of these shapes, back on the Insert tab, you'll recognize, uh, for example, say with an oval, you can click and drag to make this as large or as wide or as tall, whatever. You can also change the color and so on. But on most of these shapes, if you want them to be a so-called regular or perfect shape, you hold down the Shift key as you're drawing. So an oval, will be a perfect circle if you're holding down the shift key. Be sure to let go of the mouse first when you're finished, when it's at the size you wish it to be. Let go of the mouse. And so if you want to draw a perfect square, you'll select a rectangle and use the shift key. And there are, again, many, many choices here. And again, the ones that encompass space can also include text. And there are also stars and banners down here to consider using as well. So quite a few choices here. If you want to consider annotating a worksheet, maybe in a sales meeting you want to point out this number as being exceptionally good, or maybe it's a projection and you're questioning the wisdom of that number, is it the right number, and so on, you might want to consider using an arrow. Here's an arrow. We'll just click and drag, say, this way, and we'll move that picture out of the way. Maybe the arrow should have been reversed, so we can flip it this way and grab the end and put it that way, then point to the June figure that way. We might want a box to accompany this. Then we could go back to the Insert tab and once again go to Shapes and consider some of the choices there. Is this realistic? Adjust this as you wish. When this is selected, we've got a Format tab and just tons of possibilities here to consider changing the appearance of that, to make this look just the way you want it to look, changing the font size and all the Excel tips and tricks that you've accumulated over time. Also built in are some features here, under Insert here, called Smart Art Graphics. When you click this option, you're alerted to about 200 different choices here. You'll just have to, again, make your way through some of these, decide whether any of these have 
relevance to what you're trying to show in a worksheet or what you're trying to show to accompany this data. You might take a look at organization chart. Click OK here. This is just one of many. I'm not necessarily suggesting this is the one that everybody needs, but just to give you a rough idea here. Click in this box and type CEO, for example. Maybe click in this box and type in general counsel. And without filling in too many of these, maybe the marketing manager. And we can add boxes to the right of this or below this. So if we were to right click in the box, you'll see some choices here. We could add a shape after this. That puts another equivalent box to the right of it. We could put a box subordinate to this by adding a shape below it and so on. Lots of different choices for adding pictures, gathering pictures from online, using shapes as we saw, and also using some of the smart art graphics that are built in.